you can first watch my video on how to download and install OBS Studio. Such an interface greets us first. Of course, there will be nothing here. I briefly introduce the program. You can add sources here to record the screen. I'm sharing my entire screen right now. I'm using display capture while shooting this video. You can come to the add section and add an image here. You can share footage from your webcam using video capture device. Instead of sharing the whole screen, you can share just a single window. For example, you can only share Google Chrome. Let's do a short test right away. I'm going into studio mode. Then I want to add an image here. First of all, we added an image. On the right side, you see the final result of the image. On the left side, we can make adjustments. I added my logo here. Let's add something like this. Let's use window capture. For example, I added a window. I placed it in the lower left corner like this. You can think of the place in the background as the screen I want to share. For example, we can actually get edge here. Yes, anyway, as you can see, this place is okay now. As you can see, I was able to make such adjustments in studio mode. I can also view it here by clicking Enable Preview. I have three components as one, two, and background. Yes, now we can look at the settings here a little bit. We can start and stop recording. As I have just shown, we can see the studio mode that opens two images on the right and left, allows us to make adjustments, and we can see the settings. Of course, before going into the settings, I will tell you very briefly here. Here we can adjust the sound. Currently, we are adjusting our microphone at the bottom and the D-stop sound at the top. So for example, when I open a video from YouTube, it provides its sound. We have two different sound sources. As I said here, we have sources. We already have one scene here. I'm going back to settings now. Here we come to the video section and increase the settings to the highest level. Since my monitor is full HD, I set it to 1920 by 1080 and made 60 frames per second. The higher you make it, the better quality you get. Then I come to the output section and select advance from the top. Then I come to recording. It may sound a little complicated, but if you really want to shoot a quality video, you need to make these settings. Now, here I chose MKV, this is the best quality video. You can also select your graphics card as the video encoder, this option with NVIDIA. When we get to the bottom a little bit, we need to select Rate Control CBR and increase the bitrate. Normally, it had a value of 2,500. I made it 10,000. If you want, of course, you can adjust the settings of the sound, etc. Here we click OK. In general, you can make basic settings in this way. We can open our records from here. By clicking on Show Recordings, we can see all our videos here. Well, I basically explained how to use OBS Studio. Subscribe for more tips. If you have a question, you can write in the comments below. See you in the next video.